Good morning, Raiders. I'm Will Cassidy. And I'm Dolly Gavin Merriam. This week on RJTV, Mr. Chris Boyle runs to the Olympic qualifiers. A look back on the Regis East rugby game. Stuco tells us about the Regis at the Rocks dance. A look back at Antonio Segura's state win and a look forward into this weekend of basketball playoffs. We grill some teachers in a new Ravel segment. That and more this week on RJTV. In December, math teacher Mr. Boyle secured his spot in the U.S. Olympic qualifiers with a two-hour and 19-minute marathon at the California International Race. That is only 20 minutes behind the world record, and he didn't even have pacers ahead of him. As we speak, he is in Atlanta for the Olympic qualifiers, and tomorrow he competes to see if he makes it to the Olympics in Tokyo this summer. RJTV reporters Alexander Bruns and Cole Stortz sat down with Mr. Boyle before he left to talk about his preparation for the qualifiers. Uh, my name is Mr. Boyle, and I'm a teacher, and I like to run every once in a while. Uh, you know, honestly, it was a huge deal. I mean, I've been running since I was 15 years old, and honestly, for the last nine years, I've been thinking about making the trials. So in 2012, didn't quite work out. 2016, injuries again. So to make it in 2020 after nine years of lots of ups and downs. Oh, yeah. Um, so on the weekdays, I'll go run three to five miles before school, and then if I'm being good, I'll head to the weight room or the usually the wrestling room and do some strength and core and then try to not get fired and teach some math during the day and then run six to ten miles in the afternoon do some stretching and then uh, you know have a little dance party while I make dinner and then watch some Netflix go to bed around nine nine thirty so I'm a, you know you know one of those teacher athlete yeah. guys <laughs> and then uh, and then re rinse and repeat thanks Alexander and Cole now, your student council representative and RJTV producers, Skylar Kane and Caitlin Marshall, have a message for you about tonight's dance. What's up, Raiders? I'm Skylar Kane. And I'm Caitlin Marshall. And mission season is in full swing. Wristbands were sold this morning, but if you missed it, no big deal. Just go see Miss Fike doing academic support. And if you're choosing not to buy a wristband, every Friday, in order to dress down, you will need to pay $5 at the door. Let's make it rain, Raiders. And tonight, Red Rock season comes early. Let's tell people a bit more about it, Skylar. This dance is like no other before, combining everything you loved about the back to school dance with the Red Rock summer experience. So no, this isn't Snowball. This isn't any ordinary school dance playlist. This is Regis, Regis at, at the Rocks. Rocks. This dance will be right after the girls basketball game, which starts at seven and the dance will end at 11. It's the place to be tonight. And the game will be a whiteout so you can show up to the dance and glow out underneath all the black lights purchase your tickets at the door for only six dollars and they will go to a good cause it doesn't get any more low-key than that back to you in the studio thanks Caitlin and Skyler during this Lenten season the environmental club and the chemistry club are sponsoring an awareness and action campaign around the care of our common home the planet and also our home here at Regis Cheswood the campaign started yesterday with a waste audit after lunch only two-thirds of the items found in the trash cans were actually meant for the landfill. Two-thirds were compostable, but would have never made it to the right spot. RJTV reporters Caitlin Marshall and Olivia Giardino were there, and we'll have the story next week. The Regis East rugby rivalry is one that dates back for decades. Each year they compete for the Brett Bear Boot Trophy, which is literally the shoe of the former East High School head coach. We'll hear brought us along to the game to see the Raiders take back the trophy. Last weekend, Regis Jesuit played East High School in the 15th annual boot bowl. Here's what Coach Modicchioni has to say. Well, since we were playing in the snow for last week and our last scrimmage was in the snow, I think we did real well. We had some uh, key injuries to guys during practice and in his uh, squad. Uh, we hope to get back soon, but we got to see some young players. Tries were scored by senior and captain Gordy McKean, who also kicked two penalties for Regis Jesuit. Zach Van Haslin also scored for Regis, bringing the final score to 11 to 16 to the Raiders. Uh, they stuck to the game plan. We had some hiccups, but that's expected. I think the boys did what they were supposed to do. You know, they gave it to the greater glory of God and they came back with the win. So we have nine more wins and state. Uh, you no, know, for our first game, I think we played really well. Um, we had good continuity. We still have a lot to improve on um, going forward in the next few games, but uh, for our first game, it was a great start. Um, I think we still have a lot to improve on, and um, we're never satisfied until it's state, so we have to keep going. 
Thanks, Will. The rugby team plays tonight at 6 in the Lou Kellogg Stadium against Monarch. Last weekend at the Pepsi Center, junior Antonio Segura won his second straight wrestling state championship for the 145-pound weight class. He took down legacy Joy Joyner in the final few seconds of his match. Segura wrestled at three different weights this season to get to the top for this competition, and it paid off for the back-to-back -back state champ. This weekend, both our boys and girls basketball teams have playoff games. Girls play tonight at 7 at home, and boys play tomorrow at 2 at Creek. Be there! Lance Silliman, Eric Lee, and AJ Carucci are here to get you hyped for this weekend of basketball playoffs with help from video editor Jaden Vass from Smoky Hill. <laughs> Thanks, Lance, Eric, AJ, and Jaden. Hockey plays today at 1 in the Big Bear Ice Arena for their second round of playoffs. Raider Sports Network will have that game live on NFHS. Our sports aren't the only thing dominating this season. Our competitive clubs are winning everywhere. Mock trial won the Arapahoe County Regional competition last week, securing themselves a place in the state tournament. Senior Maddie Rogers won Best Attorney, and Senior Kenna Haverkamp won Best Witness. Junior Kevin Reyes competed in the Regional Speech and Debate Competition and qualified for the National Debate in the Lincoln-Douglas Debate. Congratulations to our All-State Choir members, Blake Mann, Kaylee Schremer, and Kaz Marzik, as well as Mariana Barrios for a beautiful concert. This upcoming Wednesday at lunch in the girls' gym is our Spread the Word Inclusion Rally, so head over and grab some cookies. Seniors, Tuesday is Colorado primary, so be sure to do your civic duty and fill out your ballot. And finally, today it's time for Kylie Pendleton and Cole Monroe to turn the tables and quiz our teachers. Hello, students. Today we are reversing the roles and putting the teachers to the test. Let's go. Miss Lynch, tell me three things you use in a day in five seconds. Markers, paper, uh, discipline, I don't know. <laughs> Notice how you didn't say Spanish? <gasps> All right, Mr. Fagna, tell me three things you use in a day in five seconds. My heart, my head, and a red pen. Notice how you didn't say theology? Three things? Yeah. My coffee mug, my car, and my phone. Notice how you didn't say science? Nope, I didn't. Tell me why you didn't say health. Oh, I probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't you say science? <laughs> Thanks, Kylie and Cole. With that, I believe we are done. I'm Dowie Gebermerriam. And I'm Will Cassidy. Have a dandy day, Raiders.